Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome, welcome, loves. Welcome back, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everybody. I am so glad you all are back, and I hope everybody is safe, happy, and well this evening. Today is December 29th, just a couple more days left of 2021, you all. We are almost there. Well, I want to say welcome and greetings to everyone here, you guys. My name is Catherine Carter. You can call me Catherine. You can call me Queen. I am the host and the creator of this channel, Queen Cancer Tarot, and you are so welcome here tonight. Um, I just want to let you guys know um, that this channel is created for you. If you are a Cancer, if you're related to a Cancer, you know a Cancer, you're around a Cancer, you work with a Cancer, um, anything regarding a Cancer, this channel is for you. This channel was primarily created for the Cancers. However, this channel is also created for the Cross Watcher. So any of the Zodiac signs, you are welcome here. Um, and anyone who is just here to watch and learn about the Tarot, you are welcome here. All right, and I also welcome anyone who is just randomly looking around YouTube, want to know more about, you know, folks who are just doing their thing. Well, it goes on up in here. I'm a new creator, you guys, and this is my journey. This is my baby, and I want you guys to know how much I really appreciate you guys. Um, I want to welcome all of you all um, to subscribe to the channel. Benefits. For you guys, there are all energies that flow through this channel. I prioritize the subscriber first, okay? Of all of the passers through, the subscriber energy is the one that I hone in on, focus on the most, care about. This is my passion, the reason, you're the reason why. So you guys are the reason, um, and I focus my energies on yours primarily and as a priority. All right. Also, there are monthly giveaways to anybody who is subscribed to the channel can qualify to receive a monthly giveaway. Part of getting a giveaway or qualifying is being subscribed. So if you are hitting that watermark in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, take the time to do so now. Your energies will flow through this channel and you will be part of the monthly winning action so I'm gonna be having exclusive live watch events and you are only able to you know participate you're anybody's able to attend the live watch events and comment but you're only able to you know receive prizes and to win if you are a subscriber okay so that's just my way of thanking you guys my way of giving back to you for you know showing me your love you know what I mean? Trusting in me, clicking on that thumbnail and saying, hey, I want to check this, this, this person out and see what's going on. What is she talking about today? What does that question mean? Is she going to answer that question or what is this? And I do try to deliver everything that I show you, everything that I say. I try to be genuine with that. All right. So for the subscriber, that is for you. We play games. Speaking of games, thank you for everybody who attended the live watch event this past Sunday night. I love you guys so much. Anybody who missed out, you are still able to go and view it. It is open for anybody to view. Also, we played tarot trivia. There were prizes that, and we had winners, you guys. <laughs> there were actual winners, you guys, and there are still winners, and they're still winning. They are still sending me their emails with their answers to the tarot trivia questions, you guys. Look in the description box below in this message in the previous video. I will have those questions posted all the way through New Year's Eve, you guys. So the next five people, there are five gifts left. You have to be subscribed to win. So subscribe and then go ahead, check out the questions to the Tarot Trivia game. There's only eight questions. It's a lot of fun, you guys, if nothing else. It's major movie arcana trivia. Like, you can't get more fun than that. <laughs> so play the game, you guys. 
participate. If nothing else, you're getting a wonderful gift from me and you get to choose which gift you want as well. So, depending on where you are in the country, all right, or what your option is. I've had a couple people that wanted me to choose for them and I think I chose wisely. No, I know I chose wisely. And I'm here to offer clarity, guidance, and love messages. I do also have this spirit of wanting to give readings, you guys, from time to time. And there were winners. I did give out three awards to subscribers. We had the subscriber awards, you guys. Our very first uh, subscriber awards. We will be having these randomly as we hit our milestones, you guys. As we get past our subscriber milestones and different milestones with YouTube and with the channel, you guys. That re Any reason to celebrate is a reason, but that's also my time to give back to you guys. And so that's fun for me, and I hope it's fun for you. So we had three awards that went out to three lovely subscribers. I had Comment, uh, the subscriber that had the best and <clears throat> most thoughtful and uplifting comment. So there were three awards that went out, you guys, and I announced them during that live. So you have to go watch that live to hear if you were the subscriber that won that award. So I'm not going to re-announce it. Go back and watch that live, y'all. And it'll be in the description box below as well. I will be getting that information out there as well so that they can claim their prizes. All right? That was a lot of fun. And also the subscriber for the month of December for the monthly giveaway. There's going to be a giveaway every month. All right, y'all. And I will be giving away prizes. Yes. Yes. Nice ones. You guys get to choose from the selection that I will have available. And that selection may change from month to month, but I will let you know what those prizes are. Nothing that I give away is nothing that I want to give away, if that makes sense. Everything I give away is always something that I want for myself. So it's something good, y'all, I promise. So there's that. Um, so go ahead, y'all, click the subscribe buttons, like one of the videos that, you know, I've got out there. Check out any of the videos in the playlist, you guys. My readings are timeless, so whenever you click on them is whenever it should resonate with your situation. Okay? Alright. And also, letting you guys know, um, tonight we are going to be looking at a particular... It's going to be cancer versus their person. Okay, and we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at overall energy that's going on between cancer and their person. Okay, we're going to start off with some channel messages using the oracle that I have pulled out for you guys just prior to hitting record. We have the Angel Oracle, we have the Angel Whisper of Love Oracle, the Energy Oracle. I have a couple from the Moon Oracle deck, the Crystal Angel Oracle deck, and also my own personal Oracle deck that I created with a lot of love, emotion, and intent for this channel. Okay? So, I am interested in seeing what these cards have to say. Alright, I only got a chance to see a couple that turned over when they popped out, but a lot of them I wasn't able to see prior to. Okay, I will let you guys, always let you guys know <clears throat> if I am aware of any of the energies prior to, but some of this I am not. So let's get it started, you guys. I'm excited to see what's going on. I'm nosy, so I'll be wanting to make sure you guys are doing alright. Plus, I get the emails you guys are sending me. I get the comments that you guys are leaving as well. So I'm honing in and focusing in on that energy and manifesting that. And before I press record, I'm always, always making sure that I'm pulling to the energy from whoever needs to hear a message and whoever needs to hear a particular message. So whatever is going on, you all need to just listen up. And here it goes. Starting with the Angel Oracle. If you believe. 
and no need to worry. Well, with if you believe and no need to worry, sounds almost like uh, the Wizard of Oz or the Wiz when uh, Dorothy or Diana Ross started to sing that song at the uh, end. But yes, I really feel like Cancer, you are in an energy now where you are coming out of a situation where you have struggled for a very, very long time, but you are now in an energy of things being abundant or you are getting explosive gains, okay? Things are coming about in a huge way for you, Cancer. All right, and I think that there is, or I'm feeling this energy that it's coming so fast that you're unable to really let go of the energy of lack quick enough, okay? <laughs> it's almost like we made it. It's almost like the Green Acres, like you just packed up all of the, the old stuff to move to the new situation where the old stuff was excessive things that were serving no purpose but you're going to a place of abundance where there are all new things that serve purposes right but you're still trying to carry along the old stuff from the time in which things weren't so abundant and it was a little chaotic all right so it's just i'm just getting that vision in my head of this green acres and you're arriving to this mansion with all of these things from this depleted situation okay we'll leave it at that but if you believe and I feel like no need to worry I feel like now you're at a situation where you are at a point where there isn't any need to worry and all you need to do is really believe Okay, and um, there can be a situation where you may not even see where you're going. You just know you're going somewhere greater, right? Um, but the situation is calling for you to let go of things that you feel like you still need to hold on to because you haven't seen where this destination, you haven't like completely arrived at the destination yet. So you're like nervous about it and you're like wanting to hold on to all this old attitudes and old ways of thinking. So you're still kind of bringing that along your destination, but you're really needing to believe that where you're going is way better. And if you let this go, you're going to get there even quicker, right? Like just release some of this baggage and weight and we'll get to our destinations a lot quicker, right? Excuse me. So I feel like there's no need to worry, Cancer, because you're you're almost there. All right, and we're gonna hold that Angel of Love Whisper um, Oracle until the end, and we're also gonna pull some Love Oracle until the end. I don't know what this is, but something is telling me to wait until the end of tonight's reading to turn that over. All right, so let's look here at the Energy Oracle. And we have Angel of Love, number 49, Angel of Love. And we have Door to Spirit, number 32, or 5, and also 49 also takes me, um, that takes me to 4. Nine and four is thirteen. One and three is four. All right. So we have four and five. Angel of love and door to spirit. 
spirit. Door to spirit. So with Angel of Love and Door to Spirit Cancer, I feel like this is a divinely guided connection here. Um, whatever this connection is that you have with your person, it is definitely divinely guided. You feel as though there was a divine connection or this person that you're with is a soulmate to you or like the angels brought this connection together right um and with door to spirit this door is open and it appears as though with door open and door to spirit i really feel as though Spirit is being allowed to come in, okay? Because this is this is appearing to say the door to spirit is now opened. But if you can see, it appears as though there is this this wind or spirit appears to be coming inside. If you can look here, now that this door has opened. So perhaps this could this could represent this door could represent this heart here with this angel of love, right? Who I would appear would be holding, you know, someone's heart, right? She's definitely looking down towards uh the heart area. Um and so I feel as though once the heart is open, right, spirit is then able to come in, right? Um, and until this happens, I feel like this love connection won't come together. But I feel like it's a divinely guided connection and that this door is open. This person's heart is definitely open, right? Let's keep going. And somebody could be 49 years old or 32. These could be ages. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture and show the world the real you. I feel like cancer, this is a situation where someone has someone has been under a veil or someone has been not really expressing their true self or their true feelings behind a situation. Looking at the bigger picture or the, these cards saying to look at the bigger picture, I feel like there is someone who needs to open their eyes to something that perhaps they can't see right now um, and see what is beyond the situation, okay? So that they can open up to other people, okay? And show people and express the truth, right? Express how they really feel. All right. So, yeah. Somebody needs to open up. Um, this door to spirit here is being open. And once this door to spirit is open, I feel like this angel of love is able to come through. Let's keep going. So, these are the crystal angel oracle deck here. Um, beautiful angel oracle deck cards that were given to me. So this is a very special um, deck here. Also a subscriber as well. Very beautiful person. So we have diamond. Okay. And if I can just see, these are holographic a little bit. They're very beautiful. Um, aqua aura. 
aqua aura and diamond so there were two I was only looking for one and these two came out so let's read them both value your self worth you are God's precious gem Healthy communication in relationships. Heart-to-heart hmm. -heart discussions. One second. And clear, assertive communication. <laughs> One second, I have to sneeze, but it's going away. Ooh, one second, guys. <gasps> okay, there's the real sneeze. Thank you, excuse me. Ooh, bless me. All right, okay. Sorry, now I can get this out. I, I felt it coming, but it was like I was trying to fight it off. Um, this one says healthy communication in relationships. Now, let's see if I can read what it says. Okay. It's very shiny. Um, one second, guys. Let's get some better lighting. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. The lighting was terrible, and these cards are very shiny. Okay. Heart to heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. <laughs> Sorry about that. This was very difficult to see, but I can put that up to the lighting as you can see how hard that is to read. <laughs> so, um, it's just the coloring of it all because this one is much easier to read the words on that one than it is. So. Yeah. Healthy communications and relationships. And so having those heart to heart conversations, but I feel like knowing your self worth is something that needed to happen first in order for you to be comfortable enough to do this. Now, with this need to look at the bigger picture here and show the world the real you, I feel like that also plays into you having that confidence, you knowing what your overall self-worth is. Once this happens, you are going to be able to show the world the real you. You are going to be able to express to other people what your self-worth is, what it is you require of them, how it is that they need to, to uh, communicate with you if they want to communicate with you, how it is they need to treat you if they want to be treated by you. Do you understand what that means? And then looking at the bigger picture and knowing that once you're able to do all of these things that what you're going to want is going to come back even faster that's going to help trigger that and that's even going to encourage you to have even more and more and more open honest and those heart-to-heart -heart communications with your person where you know your self-worth first right and you express that you show the world who you are you're showing your person how you really feel about yourself you're creating an example for them to go by right it's almost like n nobody's gonna treat you any better than you treat yourself same difference if you're with someone like they're a human being like honestly they weren't born to like circulate around you like this person is an individual so they're only gonna do what an individual is going to do so you knowing your self-worth is going to allow that person to know your self-worth even more 
right right very beautiful now let's look at these oracle that I created here all right cancer we have third party alert the red one just drew me third party alert I have my final answer Absolutely! Exclamation point. Alrighty then. Okay. Ears are ringing. So there, this is a specific message for someone here. Um, with this third party alert, there is either someone who is concerned or has some sort of a red flag color red here pulling me um, that there is a third party that they need to be concerned about could be a person could be a situation a, a job it could be a family member but there is some third party that appears to be some sort of a red flag or someone that you need to be aware of all right cancer we're gonna leave it at that for now okay we're gonna leave it at that for now and um, with absolutely exclamation point, this is someone who absolutely <laughs> exclamation point means what they said and like, yes, like this is like an absolutely like, yes, very much know that this is what they know. And with, I have my final answer and third party alert, I feel like somebody is definitely has their final answer about a third party situation here. There's somebody who just found out or just got an, an alert that there is some third party that absolutely is either jealous, there is some envy going on, somebody is jealous of the situation here and you're finding out about it and you have confirmation of it, right? Or there was something that happened that gives you proof that there's been a third party situation. Okay? And you got your final answer. So let's look at the tarot. <laughs> we'll keep all of these energies nearby for sure. All right, so we are just going to pull an overall energy and then we're gonna pull three cards for um, you and your person. So we're gonna be looking at you and your person as a combination um, for past energy, the current, and the distant or the near future. This could be coming very soon or it could be the near future. I don't know, but we are pulling for energy that's prior to where we are now and either coming upon where we are now or right where we are right now or going to be happening very soon. Um, and then what's going to be happening in the near or the very distant future. Okay, so the overall energy is where we're going to start. So we're going to look at this overall energy between you and your person, Cancer. Let's see what is going on here. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for Cancer and Cancer's person, please? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for Cancer and Cancer's person, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sun. What clarity? What guidance, what love messages do you have for cancer and cancer's person, please? Okay. So, for this card, the overall energy that we have here is this Hierophant. And the Hierophant came out in the reverse here. Okay, this is Taurus energy here. So with this Hierophant here in the reverse, um, 
this talks about needing to take some new approach to a situation or somebody um, somebody taking a new approach and somebody not wanting to do this or somebody either going against the grain like you know there was either supposed to be some concerted effort on the part of two people um, to move in one direction and somebody all of a sudden decides to go their own way right like they completely shift and go the other direction right so um this is somebody being very one-sided as well okay um very one-sided this also can talk about someone doing things that the other person doesn't really know about Okay, if somebody is being like rebellious and uh, just reckless, you know, but the other person has no aware of what's happening here. Okay, so this is like in something happening that's like in the dark. It's not, this person doesn't have a whole lot of morals about the situation because the Hierophant in the Upright talks about somebody being very high morality okay very committed all right somebody who keeps their promises you know yeah in the reverse this person is just they're very rebellious and they do things in secret okay uh, but let's look here at the energies here from the recent or the distant past from you and your person okay that one wanted to fly out and now we will pull a card for the current energy or the near energy what's going to be happening very very soon and then let's pull one for the near or distant future whoa all that came out here and it's way too much for us to take but i can't believe all that came out that's nuts. I don't understand. Let's let's redo this here. Okay. Let's get two more. One for the current energy here. Holy Spirit. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. More clarity. More guidance. Okay. Alright. So So for the distant or the recent past here, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So the Three of Cups in the reverse is a card that talks about third parties. So whenever we're talking about this third party alert, this is definitely it. This talks about a third party, however, who is coming in and either saying, talking, you know, about you to your person, um, about you, or um, talking, like trying to get your person on their side, um, or either, um, yeah, or coming to tell you something bad about your person to try to pull you away from your person. Okay, so this is definitely somebody gossiping. Um, yeah, somebody doing a lot, Cancer. Um, trying to draw your person or trying to draw you away from your person. And like I said, with this Hierophant in the reverse, this is definitely talking about somebody not knowing what's going on here. Somebody is uh, starting to take a new approach or being rebellious or somebody's telling somebody that they need to take a new approach with you. Underneath the deck here, you have the Two of Wands, Aries, Sag, Leo energy. So this is somebody who is making plans um, somebody making romantic plans. They're not really doing anything yet, but they're just like in the planning phase. So this is very, talks about very early on where you're setting goals or setting a future with someone. So I feel like this is your energy cancer. 
Um, but again, here I feel like there is someone, definitely someone that is telling you something um, about your person trying to get you or to pull you in a different direction here. Um, let's clarify before we move on here. Let's clarify here with this Three of Cups in the reverse. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. What clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for Cancer and Cancer's person, please? Tell us about this Three of Cups in the reverse, please. Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. You have the Page of Swords in the reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Like I said here, this talks about somebody being deceptive. This talks about somebody who is not communicating something to their person. Um, somebody who is uh, being very manipulative as well, Cancer. And this talks about somebody being a lot of talk and being, def being very deceptive and manipulative. And with this gossip card, okay... This talks about somebody gossiping, being very manipulative, being deceptive, being a whole lot of talk, Cancer. Somebody is talking a lot of smack here. Look at the world underneath the deck here. Driven by the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So there is somebody who is being very deceptive, trying to end something between you and your person. But you all, you and your person are in this Ten of Cups energy. Like, you guys are trying to get married. There, You guys must be planning a forever or planning a future. But there is some people that are in you or your person's ear that are trying to end this situation or trying to tell things or gossip or say things that may not be true because this is very deceptive energy here or somebody being very deceptive, okay? In the current energy here, we have the Queen of Swords. So there is somebody who is not trusting the situation. There's somebody who's sitting back. Cancer, this could be you, could be your person. But somebody's not trusting this. Somebody is not feeling it. Somebody is like, the Queen of Swords knows better, right? They know better. They sit above the clouds. The Queen of Swords' head is always above the clouds, like, you can't really tell her anything. Like, the, look at this, like, shawl. This fur shawl, this old school, just reminds me of, like, way back in the 60s, right? Like, those women who were just so uppity, had their nose up in the air. Like, you couldn't tell them anything. That's the Queen of Swords energy. Like, you can't really tell this Queen of Swords anything. She's, she really already has been around. And she knows one when she sees one. So I feel like, you know, you already know not to trust this situation or your person already knows. Tell us more about the Queen of Swords here. Ooh, interesting stories, y'all. Juicy. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about the Queen of Swords. Oh, wow. And we have the Five of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. This is your energy here, Cancer. Um, and this also is an energy of somebody being very uh, remorseful, okay, and very regretful. Underneath the deck here, we have the Ace of Swords. Somebody is going to regret coming to you with this information here cancer because you already can break through a lot ace of swords talks about somebody cutting through the bullshit you know what i mean i didn't say the whole word but it does it talks about somebody already seeing the truth for what it is they can cut through it from a mile away remember i said your head was above the clouds here cancer and somebody is going to regret even coming to you with 
whatever gossip, whatever information that they tried to come through to you with, whatever plan that they had is going to fail. So with whatever this third party alert is, you are already going to have your final answer and with absolutely an exclamation point, you already know where you're headed. So you can cut through the fray. Like I said before, you may not be able to see right now and you have to look at the bigger picture. Do you understand? So it does make sense what this oracle was saying here. Look at the bigger picture. Show the world the real you. So I really feel like um, you're definitely going to show whoever it is. I feel sorry for them, whoever came for you trying to uh, break this situation is going to have a new side of you. So in the future and the uh, near future or distant future, we have the page of wands in the reverse. Aries, Sag, Leo energy. This talks about somebody running out of ideas and throwing a tantrum cancer. This talks about also talks about somebody being very unreliable, something becoming very boring or somebody becoming very impatient. And I feel like the, a couple of things, Cancer, I feel like you definitely are becoming impatient with people coming through with unreliable information here. Okay? Information that is not reliable. And uh you know, you're just not with it anymore. You're not with the it ish anymore. You are bored with all of the tactics. People, um, they can throw all the tantrums they want to throw. They're going to run out of ideas trying to distract you from your person. Once you realize the truth and your eyes are open, you hear me, and you know what you know, and you know who you are supposed to be with, you're not going to let anyone dissuade you. You're not going to be able to let anyone dissuade you. The Wheel of Fortune was hiding in here. The Wheel of Fortune, I couldn't even draw it out. Like I said, there is definitely going to be a shift here. Um, all of a sudden here. Um, like... People are not going to be able to win here, Cancer. They're not going to be able to win. Ace of Swords under the deck remains. You are the Queen of Pentacles. You are definitely not a fool here. With the Ten of Cups here, Cancer, you're going to have this new beginning with your person. Your person has a lot of compassion, a lot of love for you. There is a lot of caring in, with, in, with your connection. Um, between you and your person. So I really feel like a lot of success between you and your person. That was beautiful. So now we are going to look at um, the final outcome here. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. What is the final outcome for cancer and cancer's person? How is it going to end? These people coming in trying to tell you or your person things. All right. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Very beautiful. We have the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And we have the Magician. Oh, this is beautiful energy, Cancer. So you definitely are getting away from the BS, Cancer, and away from the noise. You and your person are getting ready to manifest. This King of Pentacles is a very reliable energy. This is also a patriarch coming through. Somebody coming through, Cancer, with this safety net, a lot of prosperity, I feel like, coming through for you and your person. Um, and with this four of swords, I feel like this is you and your person getting off to a point where you're able to get away from the outside noise cancer of people coming in and trying to manipulate this relationship. And you both are going to be in this magician mode and able to manifest what you want. 
Three of Wands, things are going to be picking up momentum here. You are ready to move to the next phase. You are ready to expand with the Ace of Cups. You are getting ready to have a new beginning with your person. Four of Wands here, this can't get any more beautiful than this. You and your person are headed towards one of the most beautiful new beginnings, Cancer, and a very strong, committed relationship with you and your person now that you're able to cut through this noise. We're gonna pull a love oracle here, Cancer, and then we're gonna turn over that Whisper Angel of Love Oracle. Um, very, very beautiful reading here, Cancer. Wow, Holy Spirit. Okay, wow, that went all the way over there. Let's grab it. Okay. So this is the card that flew across the room. And look at this, beautiful wings. I feel like you and your person are getting ready to take flight. And this eagle here is like at the mountaintop, Cancer. There is a lot of love. This is like a dove here, Cancer. And I feel like this is an answered prayer. I feel like you both are going to be ascending beyond a lot of noise cancer let's see what this whisper angel of love oracle had to say consider your foundation wow wow look at how committed you are to love look at how committed you are to love and what do we have but the ultimate foundation card of the deck with this four of wands the ultimate commitment card of the deck this four of wands this promise I mean I feel like if you really focus on this promise look at the bigger picture you can get past all the gossip so cancer if you're dealing with someone who's gossiping to you about your person or gossiping to your person about you or just gossiping in general about your relationship hang it up tell them to hang it up cancer now this says you may not always understand why certain things happen However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So I feel like, Cancer, there is going to be something that's happening that's going to feel tumultuous um, with you and your person. Um, but throughout this, you are going to have a blessing that's going to be revealed between this. There is a higher purpose. This is going to elevate you, like I told you before, to look at the bigger picture, Cancer. This is what it's saying. There's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. A blessing is soon going to be revealed to you, Cancer. I hope this resonates with one more, all of you. It definitely resonated with me. This was a extremely beautiful message for one of my lovely cancers i love you guys so so much i can't even tell you um, my heart grows and swells every single day that i get a chance to be on here with you guys you guys draw me more than you know i wish i could record 24 hours a day um, but i do allow spirit and energy to build my messages are important what i give to you i don't want to give any mess I want to give a message and so that's why whenever I do um, choose to record it's very important to me and I like to take my time so that you get quality not just quantity all right but I'm working on both y'all I love y'all so much take care of each other and please take care of yourselves till next time bye